A graph is when you relate two objects, could be objects in the real world, with a linkage. The linkage can represent all kinds of relationships. An example of graph analytics would be to recommend a product or service to an individual. If I want to recommend something to a friend, I need to know what their preferences are, who they trust, how they spend their time in the world. A graph can represent those relationships. Typically, when we analyze big data sets, we do so with a statistical viewpoint. We are looking for how a person, place, or thing relates to a mean or is defined as a variance. Big data sets can be organized as lists or tables. We're all familiar with those data structures. A more powerful structure is the graphical model where we can relate objects to other objects with arbitrary relationships. These edges between the objects can represent all kinds of phenomena in the real world. Businesses can do a lot with graph analytics. Graph analytics allow us to understand relationships, really important relationships. And by bringing powerful methods like machine learning and predictive analytics to the graph model, we can answer questions related to threats like fraud and security threats and answer important questions like how do we retain customers. Graph analytics is coming to the forefront now because it's so powerful at scale. With the open source ecosystem around Hadoop, it's becoming a more relevant capability or technology. And it's bringing insight into these relationships at scale. Graph analytics holds many future possibilities. Today, graph analytics allows us to make better recommendations of products and services to individuals. But in the future, it'll provide smart medicine and smart cities.